Hair, welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Bria. Bria is a play on the classic doctor's bag and the shape of it makes it a really versatile bag really regardless of whatever size you get it in. It's available in two sizes at the moment. You can get in the PM which is quite a, quite a small one, not as small as like a BB size bag though and you can get it in an MM. I actually have it in the GM size, which they don't do anymore. I purchased this bag in 2012. Seriously, I got this for £1,300, just a bit over £1,300. And now for the MM, you're looking at over £1,500. So the moral of the story, guys, is the prices are always going up. If you like it, there is never a better time to get it than now because the prices are just gonna keep going up from here. I always think that this bag is a contender if you're looking at the Alma or even the Montaigne. I think that this bag is, I've personally used this bag a hell of a lot for work and I've found, I've got it in the Verney. You can get it in two different types of finish. You can get it in the Epi leather or you can get it in the Verney. I have it in the Verney and I have the colour which is called Powder Beige. And like with all of their colours, like every so often they'll discontinue a colour or they might bring it back. This is a colour that was pretty much a one-off. I got it at the time because I loved the fact that it kind of looks like a goldy grey, but in certain lights there are flecks of pink in it. It's a really, really pretty colour. You can get it at the, at the moment in so many different shades. And also you will notice that there are two different versions of this bag. Now the, the newer one that they're bringing out doesn't have the patina leather across the top here. It is all kind of, all of this is just the same material as whatever you decide to get the bag in. I really like that actually. One thing that I don't like so much about my version, and this is personal preference, is I love it when the leather, when you first get it, it's really, really pale, and then as it ages, it starts to darken up. I don't feel that on this bag that particularly suits it. That's just my personal opinion. Some people might feel differently. I've got um, other Louis Vuitton bags, and I think that when the patina starts to darken, if you've got it with like a, the Damier or with the classic monogram, I think it really lends itself. But Personally, when I see it on the on the Verney, I don't really like it so much. The bag also comes with a cross strap, so you can wear it cross body. This is a really helpful feature, I have to say, and I wear it like this a lot of the time. The other thing I want to kind of cover off is colour transfer, because I've got a light colour. I, okay, I know I'm wearing a white top today, but I always either wear black or dark blue jeans, and I was really worried with this that it would pick up everything, but I was really surprised because it hasn't. There are a couple of little marks on the feet, like a little, like there's some scratches on the feet where it's been stood, but actually, you'd be really surprised. This particular material, for me, has been really hard wearing. And I also use this bag to put my laptop in. It is, I've got um, a 13 inch Mac laptop that fits in there really well. You can get a whole load of stuff in there. It is a really versatile bag. The only other downside that I can really tell you about is, for me, it's to do with the closure. So what you have to do is there's a zip that goes across the top. You can leave the bag open, but if you wear the bag open and with the shoulder strap, it twists the bag. If I just demonstrate it here. So the bag should be like that, but when you wear it crossbody, it kind of twists the bag like that because the straps are on opposing edges. So if you're gonna wear it over your shoulder, you kind of do need to zip it up. Now here's the problem. As soon as you put anything in this bag, or even like there's nothing in it at the moment, and I'm gonna have the same issue, as soon as you put anything in the bag, you really need two hands to actually zip the bag up because you need one to hold the zip and one to pull the bag inwards. Otherwise, that initial bit of the, the closure, once you've kind of got over that initial bit, it closes quite easily, but otherwise it doesn't really. That's the bag zipped closed. The other great thing about this bag is that I, I collect bags and I, I rotate my bags quite a lot and I have like a, a little closet area that I keep them in. And this bag, when I found it um, a couple of weeks ago, it had been a bit squashed and there was a crease along here. So this, this circular crease you can see here, this is like a natural crease that they've put into the leather. And I had a crease that kind of like bent that slightly out of shape and I, I thought that that was going to stay but actually it didn't. It's kind of sorted itself out now that I've unsquashed the bag. So it is actually really robust. This I think will be a good bag if you are like, if you work, 
if you've got a lot of stuff that you need to carry around. Certainly on this size, I can fit like quite a decent size, like A6 notepad in here. My laptop, which albeit is a 13 inch laptop, I could fit loads of stuff in here. And because the bag's quite strong, I never felt like I was overloading it. I also think that this would be quite a good bag, maybe if you have got kids and you carry various things around. I tell you why, because the Vernie leather, I can't speak for the Epi because I've never had it, but this particular finish cleans up so easily. I've spilt so much stuff on this and I can just wipe it clean and it looks really fresh after. If you are worried about dye transfer, although I've had no issues with that, this bag does come in some really beautiful darker colors, so you don't have to get something really light. But it's a really classic bag, and although you might look at it and think, oh my god, that's like too much to use if I've got kids on, I swear to god, it actually is really robust. You can clean it up really easily, it's really chic, but it's actually quite a hard working bag. All in all, I'd give this bag a 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but it's only because of that closure at the top. And as I say, if you're in a rush, if you're at a checkout and you've got a queue of people behind you and you need to quickly zip up your bag and move on. I personally have found it quite difficult to do so, particularly when you've got stuff in it. But actually I find the bag to be really hard wearing, really versatile, you can use it for many different situations. And would I buy it again? Oh my god, a thousand percent. In fact, I'm already kind of looking at the PM size, the new version that's got all of this in the same material as whatever you get the bag in. So. I would definitely get it. I also really like the shape of it. It's very classic. This bag has been around since 2012. Those of you who watch me know, I very much buy for investment. And for me, if there's a bag that has been around for a number of years, that is like a good thing. Because if I wanna go and sell it, you know, there's people still looking for that bag potentially. So I think it's a really great bag to go and get. The prices are only gonna go up on all of these things. So guys, if there's something you like, don't wait around because it's not going to come back down again. If you want more Lux videos, definitely subscribe because this is what I talk about like all day long. Come and join me in the next video. I'm going to put a link to it. It's going to be there. I'll see you in five.